For the next 24 hours, we're gonna be staying on our floating tiny home, the Catch and Cook Cabin on one of the largest springs in the entire world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Home Sweet Home. We finally did it. We finally put the houseboat on some crystal clear water. We're currently in Rainbow River, one of the largest springs in the entire world. Ladies and gentlemen, there are millions of fresh water gallons pumping from under the ground, creating one of the clearest water systems in the world. It's absolutely unreal. And we have not only a houseboat, but we also have the jet boat because we're gonna be doing some diving and fishing. Reefy! And of course, we couldn't go without Reef. He's a menace to society, but he loves the houseboat and we all love him. So he gets to come along and swim in some of the beautiful water. And today we're gonna be completing our houseboat dreams. When we first got this thing, the Nautical Bros and I talked about how cool it would be sitting on the front porch, casting out a rod and reel and just catching fish, bringing them into the cabin and then waking up early in the morning and just running full fledged off the deck and splashing into the water. It's really all we thought of when we got the houseboat, but every video we've done so far has been in disgusting alligator infested water. So today we're making a change and putting ourselves in some beautiful water. But it did come with a cost. About five tires and a hub. Hello, beautiful people. I'm currently playing in traffic in my hometown because I've got some important news to share with you. I have been working on a TV show for the past four or five months. Most of you guys have already known that. Either way, it is airing June 18th at 9 p.m. And even better than that, I am currently in my hometown of Bartow, Florida, and we are going to be throwing the biggest watch party ever for the premiere of the show. We're gonna be watching it live together. So it's gonna be Bartow, Florida on Main Street. We're actually shutting the entire block down. We're gonna have food trucks. We're gonna have DJ, we're gonna have entertainment. We're gonna have the biggest TV we can freaking find in Florida. Rain or shine, this event is happening and I cannot wait to watch the premiere, the airing of the show with all of you. So bring your friends, bring your dad, it's Father's Day, and come on down and enjoy this event. It's gonna be absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see all of you guys there. We've worked really hard on this show and I promise you will not be disappointed, even though I haven't seen an episode yet. So we're gonna be seeing it together live. All right, June 18th, Main Street Bartow, 7 to 10 p.m. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. I cannot wait to watch the search party with Brandon Jordan with you guys. Okay, bye. Dude, not again. Not again. We got another blowout. Dang it, dude. Dude, why does this keep happening to us? That guy's holding on strong. I said we just, we just roll like this, bro. Corey, you're getting too good at this, buddy. Freaking tires! Okay, new tires on there. Hopefully it lasts um, more than 10 minutes. It's not looking good, boys. Uh, you wanna explain to me what the heck all that stuff is, BJ? You know? Uh, I ain't even got no idea. <laughs> Something we picked up, right? That's not ours. What you doing, Reef? Hey, buddy! <laughs> God. Dude, look at this, man. Well, we found something we needed. Really bad. <laughs> what you got? We found it. That's ours, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say she exploded. She used to be bright silver like, I don't know, five hours ago. All right. We'll take it. We got a... Uh... Oh, we do have lug nuts on it. Sick. Well, we got extra lug nuts. Hell yeah. I hate to say it, but it happened again. Oh, there it go. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. Well, we got straight rim mode now. Oh, there's. They're going into the dirt. <laughs> well, it's good to see you guys again. We got the boat, and we're at the boat ramp. I I know it's kind of crazy to believe. It is uh 9:28. And uh, we're finally here. We got the houseboat prepped up. We've got the jig and jet down there. She's about to get ready dunked in. But I want to show you guys, look at this. We have a graveyard of tires. We've got one, two, three, four, and five tires. And that back there is one of our last spares. Which means we have officially blown through five tires and one hub assembly. That's one for the books, ladies and gentlemen. 
So much so that our tires are lasting about every 10 minutes. We obviously have a major axle issue, but it's not so much just the axle, it's how it's under the trailer. And we have like three hours to go home tomorrow. I'm basically buying a whole new trailer tomorrow. We found one, hopefully when they're open in the morning, we'll call them. It's a freaking process. After all of that, we're not gonna let it stop us. We're about to dunk this big girl in the water in one of the largest springs in the world. Yee-hoo! We're so excited. He's been in the truck all day. There you go. You just look for the glowing dog. That's my dog right there. I honestly cannot even believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Man, this is like, it just feels too good to be true. All right, it is finally time to put the big girl in the water. It's gonna be so freaking cool. And Corey worked on a secret project just for this mission, because we're finally gonna be on some clear water. And oh, there they go, there they go. So Corey got LED strips that he ran on the pontoons, and uh, it's gonna be for clear water. He just installed these specifically for this trip. It looks freaking sick, man. That's awesome. That That's going to light the water up all the way around it. Yeah, it looks like a whole different boat. Maybe we just buy a, a ton of LED strips and put them on the trailer and maybe the trailer will work a little bit better too. <laughs> Man, that's freaking epic. All right, let's get this big girl in the water. She deserves it. BJ, how's that backing up into darkness, dude? Bro, I couldn't see nothing, man. Thankfully, he did put those lights there because that gave me enough light yeah. to see to the side. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. They're pretty bright, man. She's going. She is going. Hold it. You're right on the edge of the ramp. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a lot of boat back there, BJ. Brother, I think that boat ramp's just enough to let us do this <laughs> Oh thing, man. It? Come on, big girl. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at it lighting up all the grass. Woo! That is freaking awesome. All right, I gotta get Corey a rope, get this thing docked up. Dude. We made it. We did. That's the most <laughs> we ain't made it back, but dude, worst case scenario, we're just out here, dude. We just live out here now. This is our new home. Look at that, the way it lights up the grass. All right, we're leaving the old ramp. Look at this setup, man. This is just insane. This is just insane. Houseboat's glowing back there. I mean, this is just awesome. How do you feel about it, Reefy? You like it? Oh my God, giant gore, giant gore. It is totally insane driving this big boat down the river upstream like this with just cameras. It, it is totally insane. It's amazing, but it is insane. That's what we put them on there for, brother. So you can drive blind. You don't even gotta see outside. You just look at the TV and drive that lunchbox, brother. All right, guys, check it out. This is the spot we're gonna be staying at. Woo! This is gonna be sick, man. So, so beautiful over here. Man, that is so cool. I mean, I know it's a little loud with the generator, but the way that boat lights up the sand, that is so awesome. Oh, snap, son. Pulling up to the house, baby. Reef's already got it figured out, dude. Check it out, man. Home sweet home. Look at the sand lit up. This is awesome. We've done some houseboat stuff now. We kind of got her figured out. I mean, we even got these like custom bungee straps for the old boat. And uh, I gotta say, this is by far one of our coolest spots ever. And the freaking glow down there is epic, bro. Let me go inside. Oh. The nice ice cold AC. Come on in, Reef. You deserve it, buddy. Man, it has been a journey, to say the least. You guys have seen us struggle bus it massively. And I think there's only one way to truly celebrate this, and that is to hop in the water. So we're finally getting settled in. I changed because I planned to dive during the day. Well, we didn't get here till night. I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna hop in and luckily we did bring some lights because we plan to be here out at night. We just didn't necessarily plan to start our first dive at night. So right here, I have my big blue light. This is 30,000 lumens. Matter of fact, let me show you guys just how bright this one is. She's off and then boom, it lights up everything, man. I'm telling you, this is the craziest flashlight ever. This thing is like the power of the sun. If you keep it on above the water, it will melt itself. 
We also have two of these. Now I just bought these for this trip specifically. They're green underwater lights, which should attract fish, which maybe will help us catch some fish later. But since we're doing a dive at night and it's kind of sketchy because there's alligators out here, I'm gonna light this place up. Oh shoot, bright green, bright green. All right, we gotta drop them in. This is where the magic happens. Oh gosh, I don't know, that's kind of spooky, dude. <laughs> I actually don't know if I like the green lights that much, man. Just sets off an eerie tone a little bit. All the bait's supposed to come to it. So we'll get these set up and then we're gonna hop in, but it's gonna be really awesome. I've never done a dive like this before and I've been diving for like seven or eight years now. Look at this, man. The green lights are actually growing on me. We got both of them in now. This is pretty freaking insane. We turned off the uh, porch light so we could get like a better idea of what the surrounding lights are doing. You guys know cameras don't really pick up the best light. So the fact that you guys can even see the water just uh, shows like how bright it actually is in person. Now to a more serious note, if you guys watch my video where I said I can't dive anymore, oh my gosh, I am overexposed. Today we are actually testing my first dive back. So I've got the spare air, it basically gives me like 30, 40 breaths underwater. And uh, my whole goal is to go past 10 foot. So I think we have a hole that's like 16 to 18 foot here. So I'm gonna drop down. If my sinus is clear, then I'm good to go. I'm gonna call the weather channel and we're gonna get the ball freaking rolling. And uh, that means I'm gonna be able to start diving again. If there was ever a time to do a night dive, it's right now, cause this is killer. Here we go, boys. First dive back. Whoo! I'll see you boys at the bottom. giant soft shell turtle dude this might be the best dive of my entire life man this is freaking awesome i can't wait for you boys to get in here reef these ones look like they'll fit you buddy dude that makes all of the tire stuff worth it right there the fact that we were able to get in get the job done find some treasure oh man and find a big old turtle look at these things dude Thank God I was recording. I haven't done YouTube in a while now. Sheesh, how about that, baby? We got treasure. <laughs> My first night dive ever. I drop down, find some treasure, see a big old turtle. My nose works good. It's time to call the weather channel. Boom, baby, we did it, Reefy. The dive got to be in the springs. Dude, this is freaking cool. I'm telling you, we've had these cameras now and every time we look out, it's just black water, but now we look out and it's just icy blue. It's freaking cool, man. I absolutely love it. By the way, we also made some adjustments. Mind you, we have some more bedding and stuff, so we're gonna make the beds even more comfortable. But Guggen sent me some micro baits that we're gonna use in the morning. So we've got a bunch of different baits. We've got the big bass baits down there, but we have a crappie wall and a bass wall now. Also, I just turned the antenna up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the TV on. We're going to uh, see what kind of entertainment we can get for tonight and just honestly relax. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning and we've all been working hard. I mean, just to get here was a lot of work. So we're gonna relax, take it easy. And uh, I think just call it a night and have a big day tomorrow. What do you think about that reef? You like that idea? You like it? You're just happy to be involved, huh? Pull the old ear scratch. Ooh. Is this a, what the heck are we watching? Well, 
we were actually just talking about how crazy it is that we're just floating on the river right now and uh <laughs> yeah, we're watching tv we're just hanging out this is crazy man it does not feel like we are on a river right now dude watching tv this is our first night watching the tv but check this out this is my my view from here i'm gonna turn the lights off and just Watch the old TV. BJ, you good over there, buddy? I'm good. It's right here right in front of me. What about you, Reeve? You good, buddy? Of course you're good. You're always good. It's been a day for sure, and it has been a night as well. We went through a lot of struggle to get here, but I do got to say, now that we're here, it was all worth it. I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow is a... We got to trailer that thing again, <laughs> but... Everything today uh, ended up paying off. We have two tires left. I mean, somehow we popped a thousand dollars worth of tires, but it is what it is. Hopefully we get that trailer tomorrow. Either way, we're not gonna stress it now. We're gonna get some shut eye, relax, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Cheers. Good morning, folks. We made it through the night. Well, let me tell you, it was a peaceful, beautiful night. Something about sleeping on houseboat, you know? It just really, uh, it's one of the most beautiful views. The boys are already up. They're kind of kicking around, trying to catch a fish. They had the fishing poles in their hands. Mm. I'll be honest. I don't even like coffee, but I feel like it just sets the tone for the day when you're out camping. Nothing like a nice warm coffee to get your day started. We got a big day ahead of us. We're gonna be fishing. We're going to be potentially treasure hunting and well, we also gotta buy a trailer. We, all, we have to get the boat like two and a half hours home and the trailer we currently have pops a tire about every nine to 10 minutes. That's a lot of tires. They're like 200 a piece. So we gotta figure that out. Good morning, killer. How you doing, huh? Reef just attacks everybody in the morning. He's pretty much our alarm clock. We don't we don't really have to wake up with the sun. We just wake up with Reef. Look at this, man. Look at this view this morning. This is a treat. What do you think, BJ? Dude, it's just beautiful to be able to just walk outside your front door, go fishing. Ooh. It don't get much better now. It now, really man. doesn't. How you doing, Corey? Good. I'm picking bait off of the boat. What is that? A mayfly from That's a mayfly. last night? Yeah. Oh gosh, dude. Oh, look at it flapping, bro. Look at the action on this yeah. thing. All right, dude. So <laughs> we've got a bunch of bluegill to hang out out here. And then we got a bunch of bass. They hang out in the grass. And then this is where we dove last night. It's a big, deep pocket over here. And uh, oh, we go May mayfly fishing. Oh God, it's a floater. That or you, you already slung it off the hook, didn't you? No. He came right off. Oh, golly, right. man. We got more. We got more. Yeah, don't don't you worry. There's plenty of mayflies to go around. I will say the good news is last night we did not have a bug infestation, which is crazy because, I mean, dude, the back of our boat is in the goddamn forest. So I don't know how we were in the middle of a lake the other day and got attacked by uh, one of the Bible stories of locusts, <laughs> but no see -ems. That's what it felt like. Last night it was just a couple mayflies and... Surprise, surprise, it's May. Guggen was kind enough to hook us up with all the baits for the bait wall, and you guys know it works super tight with them. We're finally gonna be doing some micro fishing, and I think this bait right here, this is gonna be the one in my opinion. We're in crystal clear water here, so you want a natural color. You don't want any wild colors, but I have got the Snacky Swimmer, and the good thing about this, the paddle tail on this actually works, like big time. Either way, this is gonna be our first time catching fish off the houseboat. This is, a big, this is a big deal, really big deal. And of course, if you guys want anything from GuggenSquad.com, whether it's baits, rods, reels, clothes, apparel, I don't know what they don't have at this point. If you want it, it's GuggenSquad.com. You can use code JIGGIN to save 10% off your order. All right, let's catch a fish. Hey, Corey, you see all these people on our front porch, man? It's, uh, it's borderline disrespectful. I think BJ is on breakfast duty right now. BJ, how are we looking in there? 
Just getting her going, getting the pots and pans ready. Gonna get this thing set up. We're gonna have some bacon, egg, and cheese bagels. Ooh. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagels. So I hit the boys up at Guggen and told them we we're going to be coming out to catch some micro fish. Well, they hooked it up with some of these brand new micro rods and we even got the 1000 size reel. So these are made for some light action and right. Oh, well, my dog keeps walking in the braid, but right now we're oh, He just he's loving the braid. Oh, Reef, please back up. Reef. Come on, Reef. They say micro fishing is some of the most fun fishing you can ever do, especially with an ultralight setup like this one. So I'm pretty excited. You're just happy to be here, huh? Right, this should be good. Woo! That's gonna smoke them. You know what I love is I just literally only see that white jig head. That's like the indicator. That's why I wanted that, that color that you can actually see. There he goes, dude. Set the hook. Yeah. <laughs> we got our first micro. Reefy. We got our first one. Oh, he is a chunky little sucker, dude. Look at this guy. And by the way, absolutely choked. Choked the snacky swimmer. We finally broke in the micro lure wall with a micro fish. Got a baby largemouth, which is pretty much all we're going to catch because the bluegill. They got too small of a mouth for the snacky swimmer, and um, they just like worms, and BJ's feeding them worms, so I have no no shot. All right, little buddy. Shoo, see ya. Got a little baby. I mean, I had to freaking set the drag on the micro setup, but it's fun fighting them like that. I mean, it's the equivalent of catching a big bass on a big setup. It's just a lot easier catching a little one. Oh my goodness, look at this breakfast here. And look, breakfast with a view. We actually have some people hanging out on the island over there. But what we got, we got cheesy eggs. We got toasted uh, everything bagels. We got some bacon. BJ, dude. Hey, man. You absolutely crushed it. Thank you so much. Here, we got to turn the light on. The fact that you're making such a delicious looking breakfast with a view like that, bro, that is what's <laughs> tripping me out, man. That is so freaking awesome. Dude, I think we have mayonnaise and stuff, too. Oh, do we? Yeah, we have Dukes. I think it's in the seasoning. Uh, it's in the... Batterbox. Yeah, batterbox. This is oh, we rated. do have mayonnaise. Perfect. Yeah, big mayonnaise guys over here. Yeah. I, I think we're all big fans of mayonnaise. I was looking through the Dometic. I was like, man, we got any mayonnaise in here? Yeah, boy. I was like, I found tartar. <laughs> no tartar sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude. Tartar sauce on eggs? No, dude. Tartar sauce is a no-go on the breakfast bagel, dude. No tartar sauce on the breakfast bagel at all, man. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Everything bagel. Cheers to BJ. Mm. That, oh, that's good. Also, there's a wasp right behind the camera. So I'm going to get it down. But happy breakfast, everyone. Wow, dude. For all of you, you said, hey, your dog's always begging for food. You should feed him. You want a little piece, buddy? You deserve it. I'll give you a tiny piece. You want for the boy? Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. You're just a good little baby. I have been waiting for this moment since we got this dang houseboat. Been wanting to just jump off the front. We talk about it in every houseboat video, and it's finally time. By the way, uh, my dog's probably gonna freak out, so just don't mind him. He'll be fine. All right, watch out, Bubba. Watch out. Here we go. <laughs> I always forget how cold the spring water is, but it's so nice, so refreshing. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I know you've been waiting on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Go have some fun. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I know he's so happy. You've been trapped on a boat all night. Dude, how'd you find the one mud pocket in the springs, bro? You found the one mud pocket. All right, back to paradise. <laughs> this is honestly what it's all about right here. Just going out, having fun, <laughs> showing Reef new 
<laughs> new things. He's been out here before, but he didn't think he was gonna get be allowed to get in the water. All right, Reefy, we're going on a new mission here. We're gonna go fishing. Now remember, you're in their territory. All right, good. You give a dog a fish, he'll lick it all day. You teach a dog to fish, he'll get really good exercise and hopefully sleep good tonight. We're gonna take this, cast it out. Hopefully catch a bass. Are you standing up right now, dude? That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen you do in the water. Look at him, he's just standing up like a human. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. Dude, the fact that you're just sitting in the water like that is insane, bro. It's weird. Kind of crazy. Oh, Reef, we got one. No, we lost it. Oh, we lost it, buddy. Dude, I'm genuinely upset I cannot catch another bass right now. Well, I caught a fish and uh, showed Reef, and it was the cutest thing ever, and then put it in the water, but I wasn't recording. You just got to trust me. That's it, buddy. All right, well. Oh, boy, you're going to go terrorize the boys on the houseboat? All right, see you later, houseboat. Take it easy. <laughs> A little bit of a change of pace here. You might be thinking, oh, you boys are about to go exploring, you're going somewhere new. No, no, we're not. Uh, we actually have um, big thunderstorms coming in hot. So this is our last bit of clear water and clear skies. We're trying to beat the rain. I'm pretty sure it's gonna catch us. Um, either way, we have to go get a trailer. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and load up on that. BJ and I are on trailer duty, Corey, and reef well they're gonna be house sit and well they're pretty much on fish duty which is good because there's a bunch of fish around so anyway we're gonna see how much this cost and uh if the trailer even works hopefully it does because if i buy a tri-tune trailer that doesn't fit the houseboat that we have that means we gotta buy another boat for the trailer Got him, got him. Good one, good one, good one, boy. This ain't no micro, son. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, boy. Oh my God, look at him. Sheesh, I'm getting dog, dude. Wow. Wow, dude. Woo. All right. We got one on the right end, buddy. That's the best fish of the day. All right, buddy, kiss him goodbye. See you, boss. Shoo. Well, that looks like a trailer, ladies and gentlemen, and a Tritune one, two, three trailer it is. She's got nice rubber pads on her. She's got tires that aren't popped, and they're a little bit bigger tires. It's gonna make our houseboat sit a little higher, but that's fine. And it has the white post in the middle, so when you pull it up, the boat don't go one way or the other. We're gonna take this trailer, get her loaded up. At first, I gotta pay for it. That was uh, unexpected. You gotta pay for it, and you better believe we're gonna get some spare tires as well. What do you think? You <laughs> hey, look at, I'm so excited because we ain't gotta work on it right off rip. Well, we ain't made it there yet, but we don't have to right now. And it's got light, bro. Oh, shoot. We got light. I don't know if y'all didn't notice, but my brother, we ain't got no freaking lights on this one, man. Yep. Here's the best part of the whole thing. Look at this, brother. A ladder with a handrail. And, and look at this, look at this. They even have grip tape on the steps, boy. What? Dude. Dude. Oh, man. It doesn't get much more luxurious than grip tape on your stairs and your handrail to get into your houseboat. That's freaking nice. Wow. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was you and Corey? Did y'all have a good time? Let me tell you something, Reef. Hey, come here. I got something to tell you. I paid a lot to help. We got a new trailer. Oh, you've been catching fish. How are you doing, buddy? Good, good. Well, I got some good news. You got a new trailer? We're the, we're the proud new owners of a trailer, buddy. Nice. Yeah, those white posts, that should hold. All right, Corey, we are in position, and we have the white posts barely sticking up about mid-trailer for you. Copy I thought I'd never see the day, buddy. Yeah, me either, but it's Woo! on there. Goodness on there. gracious. All right, let's get it. We're good. We did it. Bro. 
My goodness. Wow. Look at that. Bro. Corey. Yeah. Goodness, dude. <laughs> Never again? <laughs> oh, we'll do it again. Hey, uh, look at the lights on that trailer. Sheesh. We got lights that work. Yes, this sir. Week. This yes, week. sir. From blowing five tires, losing a hub, to getting here at midnight, sleeping, waking up, eating some breakfast, catching some fish, buying an entire new trailer. Successful day in my book. And uh, we just beat the thunderstorm. I have to get my, my boat, actually. Oh, that's lightning. Okay, sick. Well, we made it home. <laughs> We made it home and we made it home with four tires and none of them popped. Thank the Lord. The trailer, while it was expensive and unaccounted for expense for the trip, she is a good one and she's a solid one. The boat needed a trailer regardless. I just didn't think it would be on this trip. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, caught me off guard, but I mean, man, we're so blessed. I was talking about this on the ride home. It's like so blessed to be in a position where if you need to buy an entire trailer, you can do that, which I owe that completely to you guys. I mean, that is grateful, extremely grateful. And it was so helpful. I will also say I am so happy we are able to do it because now we know if we just maintain a nice low speed, we have a couple spare tires, this trailer can handle the big houseboat, the catch and cook cabin, going down to the Florida Keys, going down to some really cool swamps. Like we can take this girl on some really cool adventures now confidently. We're going to Rainbow River, which is like two and a half hours and it was costly with the previous trailer. It just could not handle it. So we're upgraded, we're good to go. And now this big girl can see a whole lot of new water that she's never even dreamed about seeing. Which is exciting for me, but hopefully exciting for you too. Um, yeah, I mean, it freaking looks good. It holds good. Now we just got to renovate the inside. But I've got to let you guys know, I am currently getting ready to load up and go film with the Weather Channel. If you guys didn't know, we've got a TV show on there. It's gonna be live June 18th. It's called Search Party with Brandon Jordan. It's pretty cool. I have some promo stuff on my Instagram if you guys wanna see some behind the scenes stuff of that. With that being said, it's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get packed up, hop on an airplane, and get to filming for TV. Coming soon to a TV near you. Or maybe even a TV in the house boat. With that being said, this is gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will catch you on the next adventure. Also, you're gonna like our next video. So make sure to click it. Love you, bye.